Lady Cassandra, you managed to close the rift. Well done. Do not congratulate me, Commander. This is the prisoners doing. Is it? I hope they're right about you. We've lost a lot of people getting you here. You're not the only one hoping that. We'll see soon enough, won't we? The way to the temple should be clear. Liliana will try to meet you there. Then we'd best move quickly. Give us time, Commander. Make her watch over you, for all our sakes. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. You there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. I just hope I can help. As do we all. It is enough that you would try. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. I must have this mark for a reason. It will work. I'm sure of it. Provided we can secure aid, but I'm confident we can. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. No, but if you have one prepared, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. I, uh... <clears throat> There's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. You traveled some distance to reach Haven. You're from the Circle in Ostwick? I spent the better part of my life there. It feels strange to be away. It does at times. I'm still getting used to it myself. It's been... interesting. I'm sorry. The Circle isn't the most pleasant topic of conversation right now. Or ever. Shall we speak of something else? Is there anything I should know? The Lord Seeker's actions are a mystery, but the Templars will aid us. They cannot sit idle while the breach remains. Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. But the Templars have served the Chantry for ages. And in that time, they've come to take the Order's services for granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. But I enjoy working with her. How do you like working with Leliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly. But Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our numbers are small, but they suit our needs for the time being. Some Templars have joined us instead of following the Order. They've proven invaluable in training new recruits. I... I'd like to know more about the Templars. If you need insight into what the Order is doing now, I'm afraid I can't offer more than you already know. 
Anything else, I will answer as best I can. Why did you join the Order? I could think of no better calling than to protect those in need. I used to beg the Templars at our local chantry to teach me. At first, they merely humored me. I must have shown promise, or at least a willingness to learn. The Knight Captain spoke to my parents on my behalf. They agreed to send me for training. I was 13 when I left home. 13? That's still so young. I wasn't the youngest there. Some children are promised to the Order at infancy. Still, I didn't take on full responsibilities until I was 18. The Order sees you trained and educated first. What about your family? Did you miss them? Of course, but there were many my age who felt the same. We learned to look out for one another. Prior to the Conclave, I'd only encountered Templars in the Circle. Do they do anything besides guard mages? Templars protect against the dangers of magic. Before the Order left the Chantry, that meant serving in a circle. They were also tasked with tracking apostates, or fighting demons inevitably summoned by the weak or malicious. What do you think of mages? Are they all a threat? I've seen the suffering magic can inflict. I've treated mages with distrust because of it, at times without cause. That was unworthy of me. I will try not to do so here. Not that I want mages moving through our base completely unchecked. We need safeguards in place to protect people, including mages, from possession of the beast. I know how I spent my time in the Circle, but what was a typical day for a Templar? <laughs> typical? The last time I was in a Circle was right before it fell apart. Nothing was typical. Before that, then? Certain rituals require a full guard. A mage's harrowing, for instance. I've attended a few. Most of the time, you merely maintain a presence on patrol or in the circle, ready to respond if needed. Mages pretend to ignore that presence, but they're watching you just as closely. We would spend all day with Templars, and yet they rarely spoke to us. A habit often mistaken for coldness, I'm sure. But we are expected to keep a certain distance from our charges. If a mage is possessed or uses blood magic, you must act quickly, without hesitation. Your judgment cannot be clouded. Of course, Ignoring one another does nothing to foster understanding. What does Templar training involve? There is weapon and combat training. Even without their abilities, Templars are among the best warriors in Thedas. Initiates must also memorize portions of the Chant of Light, study history, and improve their mental focus. Did you enjoy your training? I wanted to learn everything. If I was giving my life to this, I would be the best Templar I could. You were a model student. <laughs> I wanted to be. I wasn't always successful. Watching a candle burn down while reciting the chant of transfigurations wasn't the most exciting task. I admit, my mind sometimes wandered. Do Templars take vows? I swear to the Maker to watch all the mages. That sort of thing. There's a vigil first. You're meant to be at peace during that time, but your life is about to change. When it's over, you give yourself to a life of service. That's when you're given a filter, your first draft of lyrium and its power. As Templars, we are not to seek wealth or acknowledgement. Our lives belong to the Maker and the path we have chosen. A life of service and sacrifice. Are Templars also expected to give up physical temptations? Physical? Why... <clears throat> why would you... That's not expected. Templars can marry, although there are rules around it, and the Order must grant permission. Some may choose to give up more to prove their devotion, but it's not required. Have you? Me? I... um... uh... no. I've taken no such vows. Make us breath. Can we speak of something else? I should get to know you better. We are working together after all. What would you like to know? All right. Where are you from?
I grew up in Ferelden, near Honleith. I was transferred to Kirkwall shortly after the Blight. This is the first I've returned in almost ten years. You haven't seen Ferelden in ten years. Are you glad to be back? I was not sorry to leave at the time. I did not expect to return. Now, between the Divine's murder and the breach, I've arrived to find nothing but chaos. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. Did you fight Darkspawn? No. I was stationed at Ferelden's Circle Tower. The Circle had troubles of its own. I remained there during the Blight. What happened at the Circle Tower? You who survived the Blight have fond memories of that time. I would prefer not to speak of it. What was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. The Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Relations between Majors and Templars fell apart. An apostate blew up the Chantry, and the Knight Commander went mad. Other than that, it was fine. What happened between Kirkwall's Majors and Templars? You were at the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. There was tension between Majors and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. What happened then? The Templars should have restored order. But Red Lyrian had driven Knight Commander Meredith mad. She threatened to kill Kirkwall's champion. Turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her, in the end. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. Varric from Kirkwall. Did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition, largely at Varric's insistence. Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad for my health. I'll let you return to your work. Another time, then. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon, or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... We were all shaken by what happened. If Corypheus strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Everyone has so much faith in my leadership. I hope I'm ready. You won't have to carry the Inquisition alone, although it must feel like it. We needed a leader, and you have proven yourself. Thank you, Cullen. Our escape from Haven. It was close. I'm relieved that you, that so many, made it out. As am I. You stayed behind. You could have... I will not allow the events at Haven to happen again. You have my word. Did you need something? Did you leave anyone behind in Kirkwall? No. I fear I made few friends there, and my family's in Ferelden. No one special caught your interest? Not in Kirkwall. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. As leader of the Inquisition, you... 
There's something I must tell you. Whatever it is, I'm willing to listen. Right. Thank you. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Why are you doing this? After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to... watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor! Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Please, don't stop on my account. All right. Your move. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition, or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. We should spend more time together. I would like that. Me too. You said that. We should... Finish our game, right? My turn? I believe this one is yours. Well played. We shall have to try again sometime. At your service. I thought we could talk. Alone. Alone? I mean, of course. It's a nice day. What? It's... There was something you wished to discuss. Cullen, I care for you, and... Uh... <sighs> What's wrong? You left the Templars, but... Do you trust mages? Could you think of me as anything more? I could. I mean, I, I do think of you and what I might say in this sort of situation. What's stopping you? You're the Inquisitor. We're at war and you... I didn't think it was possible. And yet I'm still here. So you are. It seems too much to ask, but I want to. 
Commander. You wanted a copy of Sister Leliana's report. What? Sister Leliana's report? You wanted it delivered without delay. Or to your office? Right. If you need to... I'm sorry. That was, um, really nice. You don't regret it, do you? No. Uh, no. Not at all. There you are. Do you have some time? Is there something on your mind? Think you could slip away? I believe so. Wait for me. Yes? Do you have some time? Of course. The day you kissed me on the battlements, how long had you wanted to do that? <laughs> Longer than I should admit. You don't have much patience for nobility. I'm glad my title didn't scare you off. I hadn't considered. I have no title outside the Inquisition. I hope that doesn't... I mean, does it bother you? No. If you care for me, that's all that matters. I wasn't trying to put you on the spot. I'm not very good at this, am I? If I seem unsure, it's because it's been a long time since I've wanted anyone in my life. I wasn't expecting to find that here. Or you. The Commander of the Inquisition and the Herald of Andraste. That will have people talking. Oh, you wouldn't believe how quickly gossip spreads through the barracks. Does it bother you? I would rather my... our private affairs remain that way. But if there were nothing here for people to talk about, I would regret it more. Perhaps we can talk later. I would, sir. First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. If I was possessed by a demon, would you... Please, don't ask me this. I think I know the answer. I don't think you do. It's not that simple, and I... I would rather not think of it. You expected to change. I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't... You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit... Forgive me. And people say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium? Yes, he trusted your judgment on the matter. <sighs> he was not interested in my judgment today. Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refused. It's not necessary. Besides, it would destroy him. He's come so far. Why didn't he come to me? We had an agreement long before you joined us. As a Seeker, I could evaluate the dangers. And he wouldn't want to... risk your disappointment. Is there anything we can do to change his mind? If anyone could, it's you. Mages have made their suffering known. But Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their Lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash, to prove to himself, and anyone who would follow suit, that it's possible. 
He can do this. I knew that when we met in Kirkwall. Talk to him. Decide if now is the time. Maker's breath. I didn't hear you enter. I... Forgive me. Cullen, if you need to talk... You don't have to... I never meant for this to interfere. Are you going to be all right? Yes. I don't know. You asked what happened to Ferelden's circle. It was taken over by abominations. The Templars, my friends, were slaughtered. I was tortured. They tried to break my mind, and I... <laughs> How can you be the same person after that? Still, I wanted to serve. They sent me to Kirkwall. I trusted my Knight Commander, and for what? Hmm? A fear of mages ended in madness. Kirkwall's circle fell. Innocent people died in the streets. Can't you see why I want nothing to do with that life? Of course I can. I... Don't. You should be questioning what I've done. I thought this would be better. That I would regain some control over my life, but... These thoughts won't leave me. How many lives depend on our success? I swore myself to this cause! I will not give less to the Inquisition than I did the Chantry. I should be taking it! I should be taking it. This doesn't have to be about the Inquisition. Is this what you want? <sighs> No, but these memories have always haunted me. If they become worse, if I, if I cannot endure this. You can. <sighs> All right. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was... Well, not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. The way I saw mages, I'm not sure I would have cared about you. The thought of that sickens me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. For what it's worth, I like who you are now. Even after? Cullen, I care about you. You've done nothing to change that. What about you? You have troubles of your own. How are you holding up? Honestly, I'm terrified. So many people depend on us, on me. Corypheus is still out there. We've made great strides. Do not doubt yourself, or the Inquisition, just yet. If there's anything I can do, you have only to ask. 
There you are. Were you waiting for me? Yes. I mean, no. I can come back later if you'd prefer. No. Uh, please stay. We have some dealings in Ferelden. I was hoping you might accompany me. When you can spare the time, of course. Is something wrong? What? No. I, I would rather explain there, if you wish to go. I believe there's time now. I will make the necessary arrangements. Where are we? You walk into danger every day. I wanted to take you away from that, if only for a moment. I grew up not far from here. This place was always quiet. Did you come here often? I loved my siblings, but they were very loud. I would come here to clear my head. Of course, they always found me eventually. You were happy here? I was. I still am. Alone with a mage? That doesn't concern you. The Templars have rules on fraternization, but I'm no longer bound by them. I know, but... You've seen the worst mages have to offer. How can you not see that in me? I don't. If I've given you reason to doubt... Of course I have. Whatever I fear of magic, I see none of that in you. The last time I was here was the day I left for Templar training. My brother gave me this. It just happened to be in his pocket, but he said it was for luck. Templars are not supposed to carry such things. Our faith should see us through. A little luck can't hurt every now and then. I suppose not. I should have died during the Blight. Or at Kirkwall, or Haven. Take your pick. And yet, I made it back here. Humor me. We don't know what you'll face before the end. This can't hurt. I'll keep it safe. Good. I know it's foolish, but I'm glad. Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know. They won't leave me alone. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Not yet. It would be easier if people would stop talking to me. Other people. Not you. I don't suppose you'd save a dance for me? No, thank you. Oh. No, I didn't mean to make his breath. I've answered that question so many times, I'm rejecting it automatically. I'm not one for dancing. The Templars never attended balls. We'll talk later. I await your scene. There you are. Everyone's been looking for you. Things have calmed down for the moment. Are you all right? I'm just worn out. Tonight has been very long. For all of us. I'm glad it's over. I know it's foolish, but I was worried for you tonight. I may never have another chance like this, so I must ask. May I have this dance, my lady? Of course. I thought you didn't dance. For you, I'll try. I 
I'd be perfectly happy never again setting foot in the Winter Palace. It wasn't the gossip and backstabbing, I know what the game entails, but the indifference to it all. At least there was dancing. <laughs> or an attempt at it, anyway. I thought you did well. Well, I'm grateful for your poor taste in dance partners. Do you have some time? Is there something on your mind? You need a break. Come on. Ryland's men will monitor the situation. Yes, sir. We'll begin preparations at once. In the meantime, we'll send soldiers to... assist with the relief effort. That will be all. Sir. There's always something more, isn't there? Long day. I shouldn't complain. This war won't last forever. When it started, I... Well, I hadn't considered much beyond our survival. But things are different now. What do you mean? I find myself wondering what will happen after. When this is over, I... I won't want to move on. Not from you. But I, I, I don't know what you... That is, if you, uh... Cullen, do you need to ask? I suppose not. I want... Dream. They always are. Without lyrium, they're worse. I didn't mean to worry you. You can let me worry about you a little. <laughs> All right. You are... Oh. I have never felt anything like this. I love you. You know that, right? I love you too. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. You're just in time. We almost had to start without you. What exactly were you starting without me now? I found her, Ruffles. Deal her in. I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. You seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to do. Losing money can be both relaxing and habit-forming. Give it a try. Curly, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. Dealer starts. Oh, I believe I'll 
start at... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. Three it is. Seriously, who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home? Sounds good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? Just remember, I'm still new to this game. Don't worry, you'll pick it up in no time. So shiny. <laughs> the poor recruit ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars all turned to stare at once. Then, a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> what, what did he do? Saluted, turned on his heel, and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us! <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely. I've got one for you. It was the night of my harrowing. I was standing in the middle of a room full of Templars and senior enchanters. As the Knight Commander read me the chant, I got the nagging feeling something was missing. They put me in the Ostwick Circle history book, which the first enchanter kept onto lock and key and never spoke of it again. <laughs> Not bad. You don't mind if I steal that one, do you? <laughs> well done. <laughs> you ought to tell stories more often. I like the part with the rabbit. There should be more rabbits in stories. That was scandalous. It would ruin the Inquisition if anyone found out. Tell it again. And the dealer takes everything. I win again. Deal again. I figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Commander, everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. I'm not losing any more coin to Josephine, but I have got to see this. Don't say a word, dwarf. <laughs> I tried to warn you, Curly. Never bet against an Antiva, Commander. It comes off. I didn't know it came off. I'm glad you decided to join us tonight. It's too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. I enjoyed this. See? That's what I mean. It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. A at least it is for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? I wouldn't miss it. Good. It'll take me a while to talk Cullen into it. Maybe I'll work the revenge angle. Who's that? Did I win? Is there anything I should know? Only that I'm never playing cards again. I still can't find my... No, it doesn't matter. I don't know how Varric talked me into that. That's too bad. Watching you lose made me want to play cards more often. I do not need help embarrassing myself in front of you. You were blushing. It was adorable. Make us breath. <laughs> That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. Though all before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the beyond. 
For there is no darkness in the Maker's light, and nothing that he has wrought shall be lost. A prayer for you? For those we have lost, and those I am afraid to lose. You're afraid? Of course I am. Corypheus possessed that Grey Warden at Mithal. What more is he capable of? It's only a matter of time before he retaliates. We must draw strength wherever we can. When the time comes, you will be thrown into his path again. And Draste preserve me. I must send you to him. If it must be done, so be it. I know. Whatever happens, you will come back. Cullen, you don't have to... Allow me this. To believe anything else would... I can't. <sighs> Samson took everything from those Templars. He corrupted their souls, twisted them into everything they stood against, everything they would have hated. I know the Red Templars fight for Corypheus, but I feel sorry for them. They're barely human now. The Red Lyrium left Samson's mind unaltered. He knew what he was doing. And he dares speak as though it were a mercy? The man's a monster. Dagna is far too kind a jailer for the likes of him. Samson is everything you say, but it's over. You have to let this go. Over for us, perhaps. For Samson. Not for those still controlled by Corypheus. The Red Templars needed to be torn down. We've broken Corypheus' army. I might have known some of them. If my life had gone differently, I might have been one of them. Do you ever wonder what would have happened if you had not been at the Conclave? If you'd never become the Inquisitor? A life without you? Never. Imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? We have a moment. <laughs> I think you're right. You brought us here. You are proof that the Inquisition made a difference, that we will continue to do so. Our soldiers put their trust in you, Cullen. I appreciate everything you've done. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. As much as I might want it for myself. You managed to slip away. 
I thought I might claim more of your attention after all. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Good. The battle's over. There will be a new divine. Yet I don't care about anything other than you being alive. Cullen. I don't know what happens after this. Neither do I.